hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can configure a kick vision ip camera with a dawa dvr now remember the kick vision camera and the dawa dvr are two different technologies now for them to be able to communicate together we're going to create an administrative access between the two technologies using a protocol called the onviv so let me show you guys what i mean i've already done my connections i'm going to show you guys shortly and we'll go to the system and see how this configuration is going to be done okay so this is my setup this is the Hig vision camera okay so i have this switch here and the dvr so the switch is being powered from here and my camera too because this is not a poe switch i have to power with an adapter which is this and uh, now connect it to the switch then from the switch i have a cable that came to my dvr then i have another cable that came to my system while we're doing the configuration so i did all these connections so that both my camera my dvr and my system will be on the same network for them to be able to communicate okay all right so let's see the configuration process so i'll be using this port this particular channel channel 8 if you watch i've already converted it to ip every other ones are still on analog so i've converted this particular port to ip if you want to learn how to convert your hybrid dvr to ip click on the description below i'm going to drop the link here click on it and watch the video okay so let's go to the screen we show camera so i'm going to log in camera okay so for us to view this on this uh, pc we need to download this plugin but there's no need i don't want to view it on this pc i want to view it on this uh, dvr so that is the goal the goal is for us to be able to view this camera on dawa dvr okay okay but uh, the Higby vision camera go to configuration now we want to configure the home uh, administrative access so I'm going to do the configuration here on the Higvision camera and we'll also do the same configuration on the Dawa DVR so that they can see, so that the Dawa DVR can see the Higvision IP camera, okay? So once you are here, <coughs> excuse me. So once you are on the configuration, you click on uh, user management. No, sorry, you click on network. Go to advanced settings. Now follow this step carefully. Go to advanced settings. Click on integration protocol. Please follow this particular uh, part very carefully. Make sure the enable on view is ticked. Make sure it is ticked. Okay? Make sure it's being checked. Then go to add. Let's add user. We can remove this. So click on add. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's say admin. Then let's give it a password. Let's say, uh, uh, let's say Nikitis small letter, all small letters. N I K I T I S Nikiti is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so confirm password N I K I S T I S one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay I think the password is not much. Let's try again N I K I S. N I K I T I S one two three four five. N I 
K I T I S one two three four five. So remember all small letters. Okay, so I've created this user here. All right. So once you are done, click on save. Okay. Now let's go back to the DVR. So uh, remember, after we are done uh, from the system, so here, this is channel 8. This is where we're going to add up the camera. Okay, but first of all, let's configure the on view on this uh, DVR. So go to account. Now, if you watch, you see on view user. So uh, from here, click on it and click on add or modify. So let's modify this one we have here. So the old password, make sure you activate this. The old password is the password of uh, the administrative uh, login password of your DVR, okay, which is uh, it have as admin one two three. Okay. So now remember the password you can configured on the heat vision camera is make it six one two three four five confirm password make it six one two three four five okay so once you are done click on ok now go to camera camera list then search so if you watch this camera is up so click on this check and add your camera so now the camera uh, is still showing this uh, red as the status. So if I, if we want this camera to be able to show, we this status need to turn to green. Okay. So go to modify, change this to on view. It's already on on view. Now allow this to be custom five five four. Change your password to make it is. one two three four five okay connect tcp connect you can leave it at auto but for quick response let's leave it as tcp transport control protocol now connect okay so status has gone to green so if we come back to our camera we'll be seeing this okay so this is the camera So that's just an easy way you can add your heat vision camera to your Dawa DVR. Now I have other video on how you can reset your heat vision camera in case you forget the password. And also there are other videos that uh, I have on heat vision cameras, some errors in adding up your camera to your DVR. Check out my videos and see how you can tackle those errors. If you learn anything from the video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And also like my video, comment if you have any other question you want to ask concerning this scenario we have taken today. Thank you guys and see you in my next video.